Hello, arty peoples, and welcome to a slightly different video. So as I'm sure you've heard in the last few of my Jerry's lives, I have not been able to stop talking about this, but I'm going to France for a artist residency. And this is something that I got two years ago, right before the pandemic hit. So I've just been itching to go and just patiently waiting until I could. But now I get to share this whole experience with you all. And I'm very excited to show you everything that's happening. So as I'm sure you also can guess, uh, it's going to take a lot of travel, like full day of travel to get over to where I'm going. So we start in Raleigh where we're based. And then I flew up to JFK uh, for a little bit of a layover. And then uh, I did hop onto the next flight and traveled over to Paris where I would have stayed if I was able to, but that's not my final destination. I jumped into a rental car though and drove over to Orcuvo, France. Now, um, yes, driving through Europe is a little nerve wracking. Luckily, France is still on the right hand side of the road and I drive a stick shift. So I was able to navigate fairly easily. And I also thankfully had a travel buddy who was also attending the residency with me. Um, it just makes everything so much better when you have someone in the car with you. <laughs> and we were very excited to see the little sign saying, Welcome to Orkivo. Uh, but when we got in, we were meeting everyone and having dinner, and we were very jet lagged. So it was an early night, but then I woke up in the middle of the night because, you know, jet lag. Uh, but I figured I would take advantage and share with you guys some of the most amazing sunrises I've ever seen in my life. So for the first few nights, there was this fog that kind of settled over everything and it was very eerie, but then the sun would peek up over the hills and it would clear out and just be incredible. I mean, it feels like I'm in a fairy tale, absolutely insane. And there's ducks in the pond and little otters that play around in there and all throughout the day, no matter what, it just feels like I'm in just something that's not real it's so incredible and beautiful here but I am going to kind of break up a little bit of showing you around just because there would be so much and it would take up a very long video so <laughs> um but here are a little bit of the the grounds here where you can see the church and the castle in the background and all the way up to the very top of the hill is this amazing chateau and this is where the residency is at now all throughout the property there is this reservoir river kind of system running through which is really important to the entire town including a few towns over as well but it starts with a natural spring that feeds in this really cold water and then it goes down through this the town and then through these waterfalls and there's even a little bit of a swimming area if you uh, get here in the warmer months. I am not brave enough to do that in October so I'm probably gonna skip that one but there's also these little sculptures stuck in here and there from artists that have been here before. But if you walk over to the left there is the gatehouse which as I'm sure you can figure out is right where the gate is that you enter through with this stunning architecture oh so pretty and then right behind that are the stables now yes that's where the horses used to stay but they've converted that into studio space and throughout this little uh part of the video here you'll see people pop in and these are the wonderful some of the wonderful people that i am sharing this residency with now some of them are staying for two weeks some of them are staying for a whole month with me uh, but the residency program here is offered in either the two weeks or the four weeks, depending on what works best for you as a person and your life. But I can't tell you enough of how important it is to be surrounded by all this beautiful nature and architecture, but even more important than that are the people. These are the amazing souls that I get to create with for the next, uh, you know, two to four weeks. And they do artwork that I don't do. And they have thought processes that are so far different than mine and their experiences that come into their artwork. And 
uh, you know, we're feeding off of each other and off of the creativity that we're doing and, and what we've experienced in the past and what we want to do in the future. And that right there is, I think, so invaluable compared to everything. And, it, you know, I'm walking around in a dream storybook, but to have these artists around you, and not only visual artists, but also writers and musicians, because this residency is open to all creative people, uh, I just to be able to feed off of their energy and their knowledge and their experience is going to help you as an artist just further whatever it is that you're looking to do. Uh, now, tucked in the corner of the stables here is my studio. Uh, so I did actually leave a, a little bit of a note on the door just to make sure that, because I do videos, you know, I don't want to record somebody that doesn't want to be in one. I got to be aware of that. But as you walk in, I have fresh flowers and a big couch and amazing natural light from both sides, but then a huge table to work at and all the space to dance around and paint in. Uh, because my intention while I'm here is to work on a larger scale. Um, fun fact though, uh, due to no one's fault but my own, because I did not follow up on everything that I probably should have and the end result to that is me not getting my art supplies. Uh, well, within two days, my oil paints did arrive, thankfully, because that was, the I feel like, one of the most important things. So I am going to be using the Charvin oils while I'm here. And I also luckily packed my brushes in my suitcase, so I had those two things. Um, and then the canvas I actually ended up purchasing from a local art supply store. And here at the Chateau, there's also a supply closet where there have been a lot of things left behind by previous artists just in case, you know, because it's hard to fly with or, you know, they didn't need it anymore. And it's uh, there for anybody to use. Um, but I am getting my canvas in shortly. Uh, it's going to be very soon, so I'm going to start working very large. But in the meantime, I did just want to start on a self-portrait just because... Why not? It's been a while, so I might as well enjoy my colorful, crazy hair uh, while, it's, while it's here. But I wanted to talk to you a little bit about this residency and what the purpose of it is and what I'm expected to do as an artist here. So there are not classes to take. There are not anything kind of requirements for you to be in lessons or anything like that. Now, they do have plans for like a history night where you get to learn about, you know, kind of the chateau and the, the history of it and how it came to be an artist residency. And there's also going to be a night where we are having a conversation with the director of the chateau, Beulah, and uh, kind of she's going to be discussing selling your artwork as an, as an artist. So the business side of it, which I'm very excited for and, you know, looking forward to. But other than that, it is entirely self-motivated. You get up when you need to get up and you go to your studio and you create whatever it is that you as an artist are trying to focus on. So if you're a writer, you are trying to write, you know, maybe a screenplay or, you know, a cookbook. And as a musician, maybe you're working on an album or you're collaborating with another artist that's here because you won't be able to collaborate with them because they live in another country because this chateau and this residency is open to everyone all across the world. Um, but it's, it's an incredible experience, but it is one to allow you to unplug and focus on what you need to do. But as you leave the stables though, you walk into a large patch of lavender, which smells amazing. And then to get back to the chateau, all you have to do is walk up the driveway where you might come across a couple of cats playing around, or you might hear the church bells ringing every hour, or even bump into someone from the residency and stop for a chat in the sunshine with the leaves falling all around you because it's fall and the trees are changing and it's gorgeous. But uh, if you do have like mobility issues, they do have golf carts and people around to help you get up and down the hill. 
Uh, they also have an incredible staff uh, that includes a chef that the rule is if she makes it, I eat it. It's an amazing food. But I will include that in future videos because there's just so much to show you. Now, of course, if you are one of those people sitting there going, I'm so jealous, uh, don't be jealous. Fill in an application. They are open for uh, a period of time here and there, but I know they are scheduled through 2024, but you can always fill in an application if you would like to experience this residency yourself. Uh, now, of course, if you do have any questions, make sure you pop those in the chats below. I'm happy to answer them. You can always reach out to me on my Facebook page, which is Emmy Host of Jerry's Live. And of course, hit subscribe if you want to see more of these types of videos and follow along what I do while I'm here in France. And uh, I'm also going to be attempting to go live if I can. It's Wi-Fi willing, so we will see. I hope you enjoyed it though, and I will see you next time. Bye.